Hello and welcome back. My name is Saiken and this is Saving Your Disastrous XCOM 2 campaign. Uh, we're still playing with the rushed, uh, failed psionic rush campaign. This is episode number 8 and we're probably going to finish very very soon. We're almost there. Um, this is yet the next mission to get a uh, ranger on board, broadening the uh, roster a little bit more and countering a very nasty um, enemy uh, dark event. We'll bring the best of the best, lieutenant, 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 so there is a chance that any of these guys make it to captain, maybe, hopefully. Um, we uh, bring Sergeant Schwartz, aka Prophet, with us. She needs to level as well. And yeah, our heavy is currently um, still out of um, out of uh, duty, so we're subbing her with Corporal Howard here. Let's get it going. So, in terms of uh, when would I declare a campaign to be officially unstuck? I think um, I would do that in this particular case here um, when we are having the armor upgrade, when we're having squad size uh, 2 as an upgrade so that uh, the player can use six, um, uh, 6 troops, when we have researched one or two more little gimmicks such as uh, better grenades and better mat packs. And last but not least, when we have uh, brought the advent process to a reasonably low level. I feel if all of these things are done, and I'm pretty sure that we can do it within the next, let's say, two missions after that mission here, um, then we should uh, we should be fine to uh, this campaign would then be declared um, unstuck from uh, my perspective and would be handed back to him. Um, let's see if he then really the continues playing um, and if so, if he finally succeeds. So we need to neutralize all enemies on this mission. Let's back to this mission. Uh, we need to neutralize all enemies and specifically the Advent Field Commander. You can see uh, we have uh, come in um, with concealment. That's great. Concealment will last until the first uh, fight begins and from then onwards we're probably going to um, have a timer. That's usually how these missions work. Um, luckily for us, the game has given us some leeway, i.e. We're not immediately uh, triggering another pack. Let's put everyone Time to motor. here. See the path. Okay. Affirmative. Covering now. So once we find the general, we might as well directly engage him. I would also consider engaging a bit earlier. So matter of fact, when we see the first enemies and get a good contact, uh, then we can immediately start to engage. It would be nice if we could engage on our terms, i.e. like on this side here, if some of the enemies just move in. That wouldn't be too bad. In case it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. On the move. That's affirmative. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Scanning. I'm on it. Huh? Yeah, we can hear the first enemy. And I'm wondering, we're also in the area of the Chosen. Might as well mean that we need to fight with the Chosen. There's another high ground here and over here. So since we do not, since we do okay. not yet uh, require to attack, we Hang basically out. have no timer. Might as well think about going to the other high ground. Affirmative. Let's Come scout out first. What kind of uh, uh, what kind of enemies we're dealing with, and how far the packs are actually away? Okay, so they are on the other side. I'm actually considering that we're not taking high ground. 
Moving to position. But that we're fighting here. High ground isn't that good uh, with the train because you can't like look into the train. It only gives you an option to sometimes shoot above the train, but if they are close to the wall, the train actually blocks a lot of the shots. So that's why in this particular case, I'm not necessarily taking high ground. Elsewise, you should always aim for high ground. There is yes, Commander. almost, if you get uh, good enough cover, there's almost no, no downside to it. Scanning. Hello, hello, hello! So this here would be a very, very solid shot. Let me check something else. Oh, we can't see them. Oh, well, in which case I guess we're taking the solid Viper shot. Come on, buddy! Oh, hell yeah! Did we just trigger the captain without any reason? We haven't seen him before, right? But the captain just triggered. Like, he, he casually decided, you know what? I'm going to trigger. So let's try to actually kill the mech first. I can deal with the stun lance in a different way. I already have an idea how we can do it. All right, we can kill him easy, easy. Taken care of. And there might even be a chance, to be honest, um, to kill the Sun Lancer completely this turn. It depends if we're hitting or not. Off the armor. I think that could be a kill. I will tear you apart. There we go. Good job. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. Okay, so we're looking at the general who's trying to pussy out here and just flee. Of course, we're not going to let that happen. Now. Need to be a bit careful though to Moving not pull too location. many enemies. There are still more packs and I would say one of the risk uh, risk factors involved with all uh, with the generals is that you're just pulling an entire quadrant, multiple packs at once. So instead let's do it the safe the safe way, which is Hitting him. Nice little shotgun shot. Good job. Hair trigger? No. Okay. Fantastic. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. No problem. There is no chosen. We have killed the general right away. Enemies are going to join. 
and they are even running into us, so I don't see an issue here. Well, maybe with the Vipers that could be a bit of an issue. Spectre is dangerous. Probably we probably won't get him completely. Adjusting sights. Okay. So as I was saying, we wanted to wait a second. That could be a flanking. Okay. So, as I was saying, we wanted to take full cover. Set him up, knock him down. And high ground. Which is happening right up here. Moving to designated position. Rachel moves over. I think we can kill one of the Vipers immediately. Yo, good job, Rachel. Well done. Earned your promotion. Need to get rid of the full cover, I suppose. Still got this grenade. And that should take care of the full cover. I mean, it's not as sexy as to effectively kill it with a big fat, uh, big fat uh, shotgun shot. But it's still pretty okay. Like this here. It's still a kill. Absolutely. This is at least two damage. Yep, there we go. Enemy is still up. And I mean, it depends, right? We, so far, we killed one pack here, another pack with the, um, with the general here, that's two packs. This is the third pack, so we're netting nine. There's definitely another f a fourth pack, because elsewise we wouldn't have, um, we wouldn't have had a difficult mission. Uh, so it was rated difficult. Uh, and there is no chosen here. There's a high chance that we're going to see a pack here, so I'm not going to charge in. Instead, this guy will 99.999%. Oh shit, I shouldn't have Overwatch, I should have taken the shot because he has lightning reflexes. 99.99% he's going to um, clone one of our, uh, our operatives. We still can get that operator up. Because we do have revival protocol. Yet another great reason why you should spec into the healing tree and not into the combat uh, tree first. Enemies on the move. Yeah, that's up. much, much better. It standing here is much better for us. So good. All right. So we're filling up our entire our entire focus. At the same time, we're grabbing loot. Only in the Larium Core, but we're triggering another pack. Okay, our main target should be, in this case, the um, Stun Lancer here, Heavy Lancer. Back Moving to Overwatch. Heading out. 
So we would have a 50-50 chance to even hit him. And I guess my point there is that doesn't really make sense. So instead, if this guy comes along, we're moving up here, slightly overwatching, parrying, so the Sun Lancer will charge in. Again, very simple trick here. Sometimes you just need to consider who can they actually see and if the answer is no one really then You may be best off by just moving back right? as you've just seen This here could be a kill. Very nice. Good job. Lance is down. He has a terrible aim. Really, seriously. I mean, that's only a 50% chance to actually beat them. So, what I would want to do is, I'd like to take a 100% chance to, uh, to do this flawless. So we're Mimic Beaconing. This here will at least deal 2 damage. Well, oh, even more. Good job. That's affirmative. Moving up for a little bit better percentage chance to hit. We triggered, uh, we had triggered, so I figured I might as well kill this guy. Down. And that's the last enemy, I suppose. I I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, that was an easy mission, guys. Not even 20 minutes in. Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. Okay, so I really like demolition. Haven't used suppression in a while. Um, earlier, I well, when I used to play classic, I almost always used uh, suppression. Minus 50 penalty to aim is really, really good. I I like it, but demolition isn't bad either. Uh, specifically, 
if you're short on grenades or only have one grenade to take uh, one grenadier to take with you so just to spice it up I'm specking into the demolition here an underused skill in my perspective um, could be valuable from time to time and of course we got no promotions what the actual fuck you have done an outstanding job leading the resistance commander look at that yet another cool kid another lieutenant here she also seemed to not have gotten the memo how to appropriately color dress the new uniform isn't bad considering but Sometimes I do miss that damn sweater. Good. Yet another ranger. I mean, we have a bit of a ranger overload now. Really, a couple of rangers here. But that's fine. They also tend to die quite fast if you don't know what you're doing. So maybe not the worst decision to take them. Uh, to have multiples of them. Reduced contact costs effectively means uh, you're getting intel for free. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. We're continuing with resistance contacts, I would say, because that was really helpful. Um, and that would increase our resistance contacts to five. The game very much notices that we need more contacts. There is the Advent Autopsy, which just progresses the storyline. We definitely need to uh, create a proving ground. And that's actually one of the things that I wanted to do next. Commander, we have made astonishing breakthrough. We must be researching reinforced heavy armor immediately, otherwise the opportunity is lost. Commander, if we're going to try to build this skull jack that tiger So we got an um, we got an instant viper step. autopsy here. Although I would expect I find it which allows us to research battle, uh, battlefield medicine for improved a med packs. Very nice. Now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this holy The advent Sun Lancer upgrades our um, our melee weapons. It's not bad either. It seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. And the heavy armor is providing an increased one hit point. You know what? I'm going to research that for you um, out of two reasons. Number one, this year uh, would be the next um, this and actually mech breakdown. Probably the mech breakdown. This would be the next Mutant Autopsy is also something very high on the agenda. This year is blue screen rounds and this year is grenades, okay? But, well, the grenades don't require proving grounds. Uh, what I was about to say, the reason why I still take reinforced heavy armor is um, that'll give you hit points and I feel that the creator of this original run had an inherent problem that his uh, his uh, excom officers were die dying way too fast so what we're going to do is once this is cleared this is going to be proving ground um yeah proving ground and we're going to build that up as fast as possible Some casualties during that nice one. Um, Pretel Mox was already promoted beforehand, well so that's fine. But our main sniper has three aim, permanently three aim increased. Okay, now recruit Reapers. I'm thinking about doing that because Reapers are extremely strong character classes. I think um, the character would join at the highest rank and we get plus one health permanently on whoever does that. There is another option here to reduce avatar pro uh, the avatar progress. And let me see, that's nine days. How long 
shit, the supply drop is in nine days. So it's effectively a decision whether we want to reduce the avatar progress further or whether we want to re uh, recruit the faction soldier. How far are we on the avatar progress? I can put off three more bleeps by raiding the facility. So we would be at three. Another two wouldn't be too bad. I consider that the creator of this Commander, safe game facility is currently idle. We have the soldiers to spare. Might to not, uh, might, might ga gain a bit of um, avatar prog uh, progress. And I don't want any, any complaints that it, uh, it wasn't doable. So we are actually going to. Um, Going to take the reduction of the avatar progress. We're using our new soldier, Lieutenant Esperanza. Uh, she was a uh, really, really good ranger. And dodge plus nine just means we are increasing her survivability. That's a 10% chance to only take glancing shots. Uh, mind you, it stacks with one another, so if you get dodge high enough, you are a monster in combat, so that increases survivability. Um, as for helping her... As for helping her... Why the heck is this guy called Godfather and this guy is also called Godfather? It doesn't even make sense. Anyways. I think he just called his snipers Godfather in the hopes of any of them actually making it. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. It's going to, it, it must have been an interesting re recruiting uh, series. Like XCOM saying, okay, of course you can, you can be, call, uh, you can join us, but you need to call yourself Godfather. That's why you're not allowed to take the sniper. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. There's a new facility. That's okay, and you can immediately see. Advent has just created a new facility here. Shit happens. It is what it is. That's why we're reducing the avatar progress even further. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar me? project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. <laughs> wow. Commander are still moving forward on the avatar well, project. At least we got four bleeps here. So effectively one, two, efforts. three, four bleeps less. We're effectively here if we destroy this. Another two from Ah gosh, maybe I need to do the black side facility as well. Well fuck you. I wanted to only shortly run this. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'd like to install a new radio station here because then we can get the uh, get uh, this uh, uh, Chile very very cheap and I think oh no there's again no connection forget what I was saying it wouldn't make sense to install a radio station here because as always South America is not com uh, combined uh, or uh, not um, connected to North America so it would actually be wasteful to build one here most likely we're going to instead re take reduced uh, contract cost, uh, contact costs so we're taking contact with South um, well here's the deal the bonus is pretty nice um, 
research break breakthroughs are uh, twice as likely to occur and install the radio bonuses um, I would normally advise getting into this direction but probably seeing how severely the avatar project is being pressed we might uh, want to go for Europe instead any GTS training will uh, any GTS any rig full uh, in the GTS will achieve the rank of sergeant um, that is actually extremely good let me check something I mean all of these noobs would be completely useless we could put them uh, we could hire new recruits and we would start at sergeant you know what by thinking about it that's probably the best uh, course of action we could make contact with Europe this here is 80 Intel pretty much instant so let's reduce the contact cost um, to make it cheaper Avenger plotting new course Wait a second, let's gain intel because, yeah, let's gain intel because Setting course for with intel, Africa. if we have enough intel, I could also buy alien alloys at the black market. Never mind, we just got what we needed. Maximum power consumption reached. We we literally just got what we needed. I was about I was thinking about um, free um, freeing uh, buying more alloys to upgrade the armor, but I think we just got what we needed. So proving grounds will be built here. Increased uh, speed in 40 days. We we will start our projects there. Um, Yeah, Europe, Europe is definitely the place to go. I'm just double checking on our ability points. She could get blast padding just so she's more tanky. Never really had Nothing wrong with that. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. All right. So wait a second. I mean, how much would we need for armor upgrades? Wait a second. Wait a second. Five more days, but we could okay, sell some see, shit. Commander. So. If we were to upgrade our armor, right? Like, we are looking at 300 supplies, so that's... That's quite a bit of money. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time... Avenger plotting new course. But the armor upgrade is so good... I'm even willing to entertain the idea of selling Market enough inventory to help uh, help with that. Ah, we need the cores for later. The data caches are super valuable because they contain around 80 uh, 80 intel on the other hand they require research time and that's what we currently do not necessarily have um, we need viper corpses Yeah, I am not convinced that we're going to get to 200 without giving up too much, so I'm just escaping here. 
unless a really 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 big um, mission is going to come up we're just going to wait for the supply drop and farm some into in the course meantime. for the east african sector Well, that's a pretty dire dark event. I hope no one dies now because uh, that would suck. And that's the problem as well because she's soon going to attack the sky, uh, the uh, Avenger. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect Nice, look at that. Can't let them down. Our so before be the new the before the new month starts, we could actually get this one here going again. Who needs plus one hit point? That's uh, I guess the main question. And since we wait a second, since we already did it uh, once, I would say we we're investing in our uh, in our Ranger, she could use the extra health. We're getting the uh, Reaper, and we're confirming that. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Yeah, supply drop, uh, supply drop in one um, hour. There we go. Pretty decent month. But we had some setbacks, specifically the Avatar progress um, wasn't super good. Um, in line with us, the facility that had been uh, constructed, and we couldn't do much against the dark event. So. I'm coming for you, Commander. There will be no further delay. That is actually not a problem. This here can be negative. I don't like sabotage. We're going to uh, counter the minor breakthrough. This here is okay because it's simply not going to happen. We're not going to be captured. And I don't know about the hidden event. Keep in mind two more weeks until the next facility is constructed. So during this month we are going to see one more uh, construction. I again fail to unlock any of uh, these. We don't have the best um, uh, order so far so I think we're doing fine we, we just need to prioritize other stuff ie not lo losing the game so I think we did reasonably well this will prove to have been an important breakthrough so whenever we're getting heavy armor which I hope we're getting that should definitely help us. The inspired uh, data cache isn't the worst idea. Um, we're requiring some more intel, so we're short on intel to actually make uh, our way to Europe. And I think that Europe is probably with its bonus, um, a very, very helpful expansion that we should get fast. So I'm going to actually do a data cache des uh, de uh, decryption. And afterwards, I would um, like to get blue screen rounds. So that's the mech breakdown um, and the mutant autopsy for improved grenades. These two are important. Um, yeah, and we need the mech breakdown also for Illyrium, which is required for the next level of weapons, so the next tier of priority. weapons. Gosh, Praetor Mox is still in his promotion thing. It's incredibly annoying. I'm not going to choose any of these abilities. Alright. Perfect. We got the supplies. Which means the finally. Have already learned too much about our operations, Commander. If we don't work with the resistance, finally no we got Predator armor. Down. Look at that, We're beautiful up armor upgrade. Commander, the aptly named Predator armor should give our. Uh, 
Um, thinking about to uh, upgrading the rip jig and the blade as well. But it's a bit costly. So maybe we'll hold back on that. Good. Very soon and we're going to have enough intel. That's great. We're just generating enough to finish uh, the research Setting and then we're making contact. East Africa. When inspired, our team you know, actually quite 128 efficient. intel, that's just extremely good. That's why I didn't want to sell those things. Yeah, we could go for another one, but it's fine. Uh, the next research is actually very important. It's the Mac Breakdown. These robotic for blue screen rounds. While most of my involvement in the chip development process was on the theoretical side, I can't help but feel some degree of responsibility for the final product as we see it in use today. Making contact. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade So we're going to um, install a radio relay in here. Area. And once we got a new contact, Western we're actually Europe. going to contact um, Western Western uh, Europe. And that is another Haven assault. Setting course for South Africa. Which is fine at this point. I think we're uh, we will be capable to fighting back uh, to fight it back. Let me prepare everything and we are going to see each other in the next mission. Like I said, probably um, the last couple of missions, we're just about to get it done. So, see you in the next uh, mission and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.